The Home Base Program, a partnership of the Red Sox Foundation and Massachusetts General Hospital, is dedicated to healing the invisible wounds of war. I'm Jenny Johnson for Comcast Newsmakers at Suffolk University's Modern Theater in downtown Boston. Brigadier General Jack Hammond, Executive Director of the Home Base Program, joins us. Welcome to the program, General. Thank you, Jenny. Now, can you explain to us the invisible wounds of war? Sure. So basically, the invisible wounds of war is kind of a, an overarching name for the, the uh, wounds that you can't see. It's post-traumatic stress. It's traumatic brain injuries sustained on the battlefield. It can go down as far as mild depression, uh, substance abuse, and even uh, military sexual assault trauma. Um, but it's, it's the unseen wounds that uh, service members um, are affected by based on their wartime service. Okay, so and how big of a problem is it? And is it affected by the renewed war efforts? I think that that's a very key point. We haven't had an all volunteer force fight a sustained war since the Revolutionary War. Mm -hmm. uh, the young men and women that volunteer for this war have deployed one, two, three, four, five, and six times. Um, that's played a major role in this. And it really, it's, if you can imagine the impact of going to war, coming home, reuniting with your family, and then tearing that fabric again, going off to war again, and this time they know the harrows of combat. And then they live through that and they come home and then they do it again. Um, it, can, it can cause a great deal of mental health issues, rightfully so. All right, so let's talk about how home base is one of the only private sector clinics in the nation. So what makes home base different? So there's a couple things that make home base unique. Uh, first of all, nobody that comes to care, uh, for care at home base pays a nickel out of their pocket. It's completely um, no, free, no pocket, no out-of-pocket expense for veterans uh, or their families. And we define families very broadly. Um, there's a DOD, VA definition of families, which is your spouse or your children. Um, as far as we're concerned, if you self-identify as a military family member, you can be significant other, uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, you can be the child of a significant relationship. Um, we don't really care. Um, it, you don't have to prove that to us. We figure that if you come to us for help, you need help, and it's related to the combat service. Um, th that's really one of the big signifiers. The other thing is we treat the families. Um, we treat children uh, based on the deployment-related stress they've gone through. We treat spouses, parents, siblings. Um, but more important, not more importantly, but um, one of the most pronounced areas is we treat the veterans uh, in a very individualized way using state-of-the-art care. Give us an example, if you can, about a family-based program. Sure. Well, we have several. Um, in some cases, we'll have a, a family contact us, um, and the military member won't want to join and won't want to come aboard. And, and sometimes, if you deal with the government, that's the end of the line. They're restricted at that point of talking to them anymore because the veteran has to speak with them personally. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll work very closely because we're private sector with the spouse, the parent, the brother, the sister, to get that person in. And oftentimes there's a family dynamic to this. And then we'll bring the family together and we'll do couples therapy um, in a very light touch program. We'll have, we have our, what we call our adventure series programs, which are outdoor activities that bring groups of veterans and military families together for skiing, skating on uh, Frog Pond, mm -hmm. um, a number of issues. And, and all of this is to connect, re reconnect with these veterans and these family members to let them know that we're here for them and let them know about the services we can provide. And with a few seconds left, can you briefly describe the education initiative? Sure. Um, through uh, web-based instruction, we've provided clinical training to more than 10,000 clinicians across the country. Um, we're now targeting that a little closer in areas that need more help. Okay, wonderful. Well, General, thanks for being here and talking with us about the home-based program. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Jenny Johnson.